I used to talk to kids about the ant philosophy. Let me give you a couple of clues now about the ant philosophy. Here's number one, ants never quit. If they're going somewhere and you stop them or block their pathway, they'll look for another way, up, down, all around. How long will they keep looking? Till they find another way. See, that's, that's good philosophy, the ant philosophy. Here's another one. Ants think winter all summer. That's why ants appear to be in a hurry all summer. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Why? Winter, winter, winter. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The clock is running out. Time is running out. Hurry, hurry. Get the food. Bring it back. Get the food. Bring it back. Winter's almost here. Hurry, hurry. See, that's good philosophy. So have you got that note now? Be like the ants. Think winter in the summer. Don't think summer in the summer and get faked out. Look how lovely and look how nice. See, that's getting faked out. Ants don't do that. They think winter all summer. Now here's the next one. You got to think summer all winter. In the winter, you got to say, we won't be in here long. We'll soon be out of here. We'll be out there working and gathering more food and providing for the future. This winter won't last long. We'll soon be out of here. So the key is to think summer in the winter and think winter in the summer. Now, if somebody needs help on this, you've got to learn how to put it in such a way. And giving them the ant story is one of the best. Think winter in the summer and then think summer in the winter. Think negative when it's positive and then think positive when it's negative. Isn't that a challenge? The answer is yes, that's a challenge, but that's life. That's the deal. How often does winter follow fall? Every year. Years ago, I did a series of lectures for Chevron dealers and their management. All over America, even up in Alaska and over in Hawaii. When I first started giving them this series of lectures, the management and uh, some of the leaders of the Chevron uh, Corporation called me in and we had a nice talk. And they said, well, first of all, Mr. Rome, we'd like to get acquainted and uh, we've heard about your presentation and we think you might be able to share some good ideas. And they said, by the way, you travel the world and right, you know a lot of corporate executives and you've been in business for a long time all around the world. They asked me, what do you think the next 10 years are gonna be like? And I said to them, gentlemen, you have asked the right person. So their eyes lit up. I said, I do have experience. I have traveled the world and I've lived a long time and I really know the deal. And here's how the next 10 years are going to be. About like the last 10. Right. Winter follows fall. Some are easy and some are hard. Some are difficult and some are simple. And then spring follows winter. For how many years now? 6,000 years of recorded history. So it isn't going to change. Here's the essence of life. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. That's about as simple as you can put it. From the beginning, the first two boys of the first family had difficulty and one killed the other. The statistics have never been that severe since. But that wiped out 25% of the population. <laughs> so there's been the push of difficulty, good and evil, you know, present since the beginning. So that's not going to change. The winters are going to come. But here's what we all need to be advised. Think winter in the summer. Think opportunity in the winter. And then here's the deal. Sometimes there seems to be more difficulty than opportunity. It does. Then it turns. And then there's more opportunity than difficulty. During those terrible wars, World War I and World War II especially, and then the Vietnam War and the Korean War. Those were terrible wars. We lost a lot of lives. Those were tragic days, tragic times. Hopefully those tragic wars are behind us. When there seemed to be more tyranny than liberty in the world. But now it's turned. And there's more liberty than tyranny. And the key is to take advantage when liberty comes in excess. When liberty comes in great amounts. Take advantage, build the city, you know, build the economy, build everything while 
liberty has its chance and its freedom because it can turn, it can turn. And sometimes an individual needs to hear this and you need to communicate it well. Use every story you can to communicate it. 